Hey, and welcome to Toy Talk Tuesday. Um, I'm excited to be back doing my videos. I know I took a little bit of a break. Um, it's a little nerve wracking to do these videos, even though they're not like live anymore. That takes a little bit of the pressure off, but they're still one take videos, which is still a little bit like, okay, one take, have to get it right. Um, but that's part of why I love the one take thing is you're gonna see me stumble or stutter, or, you know, mess up my words. Um, so today we are talking about when doing the right thing sucks. Um, and you may have seen that title and been like, okay, whoa, well, wait, where on earth are you going with this? Um, I promise I'm not telling everyone to just like drop doing what's right and what's what rise wise and just, you know, go with their own you know feelings. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, I promise this is going to end well, despite the uh, little bit of a weird uh, title, um, because the that title is true. Sometimes doing the right thing sucks <laughs> a lot. Um, if you've watched uh, my past videos, some of my past videos, then you you may know, um, or if you follow me on social media, you know uh, I was engaged and my engagement was called off. And that has put me in a very difficult season. A lot of emotions um, just, and a lot of being raw. And with that, um, doesn't always come the natural desire to do what's right. Not in the sense of like, I don't like I, I desire to do what's right. I desire to walk out wisdom. But once I figure out like, okay, in this situation, what is the wise thing to do? What's the right thing to do? And then, you know, um, you, for me, it's then I consult my Bible and I'm like, okay, um, this is, this is, so this is what is right. And then a lot of times what's right and what's wise doesn't line up with what I want to do. Um, typically throughout this entire situation, what I wanted to do is not what's been the wise thing. Um, what my emotions have just like, like it snap, wanted to make snap decisions, but I stopped myself. I'm like, okay, well, what's the right, wise and right thing to do? Now, why would I want, like, why would I still do what's right or what's wise, even though it's not always fun, a lot of times not fun and a lot of times not our first reaction then why why does it matter if i do what's right or good or wise for me it's simple the payoff the end result is so much better when you walk out wisdom when you walk out what's right than when you just make a snap decision off of emotion or you do what you know well this is what feels good. I don't, I don't want to do the harder thing or a lot of times doing the wise thing or the right thing makes it, it, it's uncomfortable or sometimes it puts us in a little bit more pain or in a little bit of a harder position. And we don't always want to walk through that. I don't want to, I don't half the time want to walk through that. I mean, you guys get to see the videos where, you know, I've already made the decision like, yeah, I'm gonna do the right thing. You guys don't necessarily get to see me wrestle with this isn't what I want to do and this isn't fair and this isn't fun, but it's what's right. So I should do it. Um, and that's not to say I'm perfect and I always do what's right. No one's perfect and I often do what's wrong. But the times that I have been able to walk out wisdom, I have been able to walk out what is good and right. It ends so much better than what I wanted to do. And th that whole concept of doing what's right or what's, it's almost like wisdom over foolishness. And the Proverbs have so much to say about this. And that's where um, in Proverbs 8, 35 through 36, uh, I'm just going to read you guys the verses so I don't get them wrong. Uh, it says, for whoever finds me, which me is wisdom in this case, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. This is basically saying the wise person has life and the fool injures himself, which personally, I don't wanna be someone who causes myself harm, who causes myself injury. I don't wanna make my life worse. I want life, I want what's good. I want it to turn out as best as possible. And oftentimes that means not doing things my way. Um, and it's, it's taking that like, okay, this sucks now. It's not what I want to do, but I know the end outcome will be good. And in doing that, that's kind of like I told you in my last video, I jumped off social media when this first happened. Cause I was like, nope, I don't want it there. One, because I don't need to see it. And two, 
I don't want to say something I regret. Like, I don't want to put something out there and then have to take back for it. And because of doing that wise step, I didn't really want to get off social media. I knew that was what was wisest. The foolish decision would have been to leave it on. And then I could have put something public that I so regretted just out of raw emotion. But I don't have that because I did the wise step. Now, this is not to say I've been walking out this entire thing in the wisest way possible all the time, but I am trying my best to walk it out in wisdom and in doing what's right because I know the outcome will be so much better than doing the foolish thing. That's I'm trying to face my pain head on because I don't wanna carry this thing around for my life. And no, that's not a fun thing to face it head on, but I know it is the wiser thing to do to face it head on instead of just push it to the side and push it to the side and push it to the side and carry it on forever. And so I highly encourage you guys, if you're stuck, and a decision in your life and you're like, well, I don't want to do this. We all don't want to do a lot of things, but in the end, we know it'll be better. And I so encourage you that the end is worth it. I'm not even at the end and I can see how some of the decisions that I said, okay, fine, I'm gonna be wise. Um, not even wanting to, but just you know, out of obedience, out of wanting to do what's right, out of wanting to walk in wisdom, I can already see that the payoff's gonna be so worth it. And so I highly encourage you guys that when doing the right thing sucks, <laughs> still choose it. Choose the right thing. Choose the wise thing. Um, there's another verse in Proverbs uh, 3, 13 through 14, which essentially says Wisdom, um, wisdom's gain is better than silver and its profit is better than gold. It's better than money. It's better than anything you could dream, anything you could think of. Wisdom's payoff is worth so much more than that um, You know, good feeling of, Oh, okay, I got to act out my emotions. Okay, I got to do that thing I wanted to do. And then that's gonna fade away really quickly where wisdom's is so, that wisdom's payoff is so worth it. So I highly encourage you guys, if you're facing something, walk out the wise or right decision, even though it's not fun. I know, it sucks sometimes. We can just admit it, it sucks, right? That's an honest answer. Sometimes the right thing sucks and is no fun. Um, and some of you may disagree with me on that, but. Typically in my life, I found that. Um, so that's what I have for you guys today, that sometimes doing the right thing sucks, but sometimes you gotta do it anyway. Well, you don't have to do it anyways. You all have a choice. That's the beautiful thing about life. Um, so I hope you guys will choose wisdom or what's right, and I hope I will continue to choose wisdom walking forwards. Uh, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for walking and, for watching this, <laughs> sorry. and. Um, kind of walking this out with me. You guys sh showed up to my last video, even though I had taken a break and that was so awesome to see. And thank you all so much for your encouraging comments. That meant the world to me. Um, so continue to keep watching. I'll continue to keep updating you guys. Uh, and that's all I have for you guys this week. And I will catch you next week.